A man sold rat traps and did small thefts to survive. Once a thought came to him that the whole world was a big rat trap. It had existed just to set baits for people. One evening, he knocked at the door of a little cottage. There lived an old man alone. He welcomed him. He told about his cow which supported him. They played, Miolases. He showed the rat trap seller a leather pouch, hanging in the window frame, which had 30 kroners. Next day both went out. The old man locked the door. But half hour later, the rat trap seller broke the window pane and stole the money. He turned into the forest. After some time he found no way out. He was trapped inside the forest. He realized that he was fooled by the bait and was caught. Late in December, just as he was about to die, he heard a sound hammer strokes from an iron mill. He got up and followed the sound. It was Rams Joe Ironworks. The master smith and his helper sat in the forge. Anyone would come there, for warmth in front of the fire. The rat trap peddler asked the smith for shelter, and he agreed. The ironworks was owned by an ironmaster, who would come to the forge for inspection. Due to rat trap seller's beard and hat, and the darkness, the ironmaster mistook him, for his old comrade. When he invited the peddler to his home, he disagreed. He sent his daughter, Edla, to persuade him come home. She thought, the man was frightened. She said in such a friendly manner, that the peddler agreed to come to their home. The peddler knew, that the ironmaster will know he was not his comrade. He was again trapped. Next day was Christmas Eve. The servant bathed and shaved the peddler and cut his hair. The ironmaster understood that he had made a mistake in the darkness. He thundered at the poor man. The peddler told him about the world being a big rat trap, and that he himself will also get caught in the bait one day. He told the peddler to get out. Edla requests him to let him stay there, for one day. In the evening, the tree was lighted. He ate the fish and porridge. Next morning, the ironmaster and Edla went to the Christmas service. The peddler was asleep. At church they came to know that an old crofter of the ironworks was robbed by a man selling rat traps. The ironmaster knew who he was. When they returned, their guest had already gone. But he left a package, in which was a rat trap, the thirty kroners, and a letter. In the letter, he thanked Edla for being kind, as if he was a real captain. He requested to return the money to the crofter. And rat trap was a gift from a rat, who was now raised to a captain. Subscribe for more videos.